Wow, wow. Well, look at God. Look, look. Wow, wow. We up here for one situation. Wow, we up here, guys. I'm Rodeo Young Life, guys. Guys, I am Rodeo Young Life, where I am here at Southside STEM Academy for one situation, guys. I come here to report one situation by a young girl at Southside STEM Academy. Um, being dragged across the field, face straight off, um, the skin straight off her face, off her arm, and also with a broken wrist. Why I'm out here trying to set up my cameras? I came and set up another parent just came out to school at right here at Southside STEM Academy. Her child teeth has been um, knocked out his mouth. Someone has kicked their son teeth out of his mouth right now, guys. What's really going on inside the STEM Academy here in Norfolk, Virginia? Oh, excuse me, man. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't even know you had an issue. I'm coming up here for her child's issue. What just happened? Can you tell him what happened? Just happened. You found out about your son. Yeah, my son was in PE. Come on. And he was playing. He was playing and whatnot. And he's about to kick his tooth out. Nurse wasn't called. He he did not see a nurse. He, oh my his God. teacher tried to tell him. He tried to tell his teacher what was going on. She said he couldn't talk in the home. Wow. So he was sitting home. He had a fresh tooth. Oh that's God. out nobody contact me and told me anything oh wow nothing. so when your child come home the first thing he ran to you is that mom i was i was fighting the pe and look somebody kicked my tooth off. i said Ooh, he told me the little boy name and i said come on come to the school nobody contacted you and let you know your child teeth was kicked out of his mouth at the school no ma'am no medical attention was rendered to your child here at south side no ma'am how does that make you feel as a parent i'm ready to look at Wow. wow. Have you got any Hello. answers from, from the school system? Have you got any answers from the no. principal or anybody? No. What is their response to you right now? I'm talking to Wanda. You said it was a game. Right now, guys, this is the second child, guys. As I try to, I can't, I can't even get set up, guys. So much stuff is going on outside of Southside STEM Academy and um, this far. I'm trying to set up to interview this young lady and another mother just came out to school and said they kicked their son teeth out of his mouth. Oh my God. Wow guys, these parents are really upset. Their kids are being very damaged at this school. These parents right now, kids are being home at the Southside STEM Academy. No one is informing the parents what's going on with their kids. We have a young lady that on yesterday, all her skin is missing off her face, guys. All her skin is missing off her face. Off her arm and her wrist is broke right here at Southside STEM Academy. Come on, baby. You hear what she said about class dojo? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. They don't respond back. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Moms, you want to sit right there beside your daughter? Uh, sit for support. Moms is uh, kind of shy too, but she got to sit for support. Um, Guys, Um, right now, guys, on yesterday, this young lady. Yeah, this Wednesday. Wednesday. Moms, can you tell us? Can you take that so you can tell us what happened? Bring your ass down. Tell it. You gotta do it for your baby. Do it for your baby. Speak for your baby. Yep. Be the voice for your baby when she can't speak. Bring your man today. Wednesday, I got a phone call from the nurse saying that my child was in the little accident at school. She was playing tug of war as a science project. And she told me that my my baby had a little scar on her face. I hung up on her, came here. And when I came here, I seen my baby face like this. Her wrist is broke. I took her to the emergency room. She fractured her bone. I come up here, talk to the teacher and the nurse and the principal, and they told me, the teacher told me accidents happen. Mm. This is not no accident. This is unacceptable. This is not no accident. My baby is, this scar is going to be on her for life. This scar is going to be on her for life. This is not no accident. Something got to give, and I'm not letting this slide. They not doing nothing. They never tell me. Before this even happened, she used to get, she was getting bullied. They never told. They never called me. They never told me anything about her getting bullied. I always got to hear it from her. Y'all the adults. Why? Why is nobody calling my phone? And y'all got my number on file. I came up here, made multiple reports. Still didn't con contact me. 
I asked to speak to the principal. Principal been out since September. I come up here Wednesday to ask to speak to the principal. They said the principal's still loud. Then they, I said, well, can I speak to somebody that's over the principal, that's after the principal or something? I need to speak to somebody because this is unacceptable for my baby face to look like this. They told me she was in a board meeting. Well, I'm going to be in a board meeting with her. Ain't no way she in a board meeting. So when I finally spoke to the lady, she told me she was never in a board meeting. She was in a meeting, but not a board meeting. Something got to give for my baby face to look like this. Let me ask you this. Um, when you when you was contacted and they said your daughter had a small shrink, what made you just rush up to the school to see a small shrink? Stop playing about her face. And then for her arm to get broke, ain't no way. No, but initially you thought it was a small shrink. No, what, what? it couldn't have been no small shrink. She told me she scraped her face and it was like a little scratch on her face. Ain't no small street. So you found the urgency to rush up here to check on yeah. your child because she was harmed. Mm -hmm. When you seen that your child's face was not a small straight, what was your first reaction? I wanted to hit the I wanted to hit the nurse. I wanted to hit the nurse. I wanted to fight the teacher and fight the kids, whoever who had whoever had something to do with it. I wanted to fight. That was your first uh, initial impression, yeah. you know, just the anger and yeah. frustration. Uh, so You see your baby face, your baby face, I mean, everything, you got the picture of your baby, all the skin oh, yeah. on her face is gone, guys. On one side, it looked as if she was burnt in her face. I'm gonna bring this close up to the camera for you guys. It looked, that's her wrist right there. That is her wrist, guys. That's her wrist right there. They told the mother it was a small straight, and that's her wrist. Can you also show us the picture of her face? This is her face right here, guys. They told her it was a small straight. This is how her face looked right now, guys. All of this is done to her, her child's face. They tell us the mother it was a small incident, but the mother did not believe them, so she came up to the school. Once you saw your child's face, then you realized her arm was also damaged. What did you see with her arm? I seen a bandage on her arm. It was a bandage on her arm, and that's when I told her that I took the bandage off. And I said, this not no mistake. I need to speak to somebody. Like, this not no mistake. What type of bandage would you see on a big it strawberry? Was a, it was a, one of those. It was like this. Tell your face. It was a bandage like this on her wrist. A big bandage covering her wrist. Was any type of medical um, paramedics or medics called to the situation? Nope. When you looked at your child, um, you knew it was more than yeah, just a straight you knew it was more than just a straight. Um, you noticed that your child bone or her skin has started to lift up. Tell us more about that. I was, when I seen that, I just took her straight to the emergency room. They took her in and they even said that they felt it looked broke. They did x-rays on her before they could even say that it's really fractured. They did x-rays on her and then that's when they came in the room and told me that her arm was fractured. Her arm was fractured. She has to get a cast on her arm now Wednesday at 9.30. So... Have you heard from anyone at Southside STEM Academy? Have anybody called you and checked on the well-being of your child? No. Nope. Have anybody called you and offered to pay for the medical bills that your child, that you want to occur during this process? No. Nope. Have the principal reached out to you and apologized? No. Nope. What was it that the teacher said to you when you asked her what happened to your child under her supervision? She told me, she told me she came as fast as she could because my daughter told her she was calling her name and screaming her name and crying on the ground and she wasn't she wasn't paying attention it was another kid that had to tap her and get her attention to let her know what was really going on and then when i asked her where was she at she talked about something she was there she was part of the game well if you was part of the game that's even worse wow um, also, let me ask you this, guys. We got more than one situation going on, guys. We thought it was just a one isolated incident here yet again at the Southside STEM Academy. While we was here, we just found out a young man's teeth was kicked out of his mouth and his mother is enraged right now by her child. Ma'am, what are you gonna do about that situation?
Let me get you there. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. Get the baby. Get the teeth out of his mouth. This is so sad. Why this? Oh, this is sad. Then they got stuff in. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. First oh of all, God. she is pregnant Ooh. and she's under stress, guys. This her that son right good. here. You okay? That, what, wait a minute. Love. Love. This is um Jason. This is JC on, guys, and this is um her son right here that was at PE e today and got an altercation in school where his teeth was kicked out of his mouth. No medical service was rendered. No parents was informed. His mother did not find out about his teeth being out his mouth until she got he got home moms tell me mom tell us what happened on the day what did um Ravion tell you happened in his school today um he came home and you know like i meet him at the door every day you know because he'll walk or whatnot so he came home was like he had a fight in school this is the third fight this week the second the other two fights he getting in fight to say the recess how was the teacher not seeing this at recess Nobody said anything. Nobody's calling. That's what Class Dojo is for, because of COVID. I gotta, I gotta keep Class Dojo and her. When she found out that I was on my way, she left. Because like, how did how did my son not see no nurse? He didn't see anything. Like he didn't goggle no salt. He didn't do anything. No dentist. No nobody. No nothing. So they don't even know if the teeth broke inside of his gums or anything. No. They are. That is gone. His whole teeth, guys, as you can see right That's here. freshly gone. It's freshly gone out his mouth, right in the front of his mouth, guys. Um, No one right here at the bottom of his mouth, his teeth is now gone. gone. No one contacted nobody, none of his parents, no school official gave him no type of medical treatment here at Southside STEM Academy. Something has to be done about this school, guys. This is not the first, second, third, or fourth incident. Things like this happen every day at Southside STEM Academy. I have done multiple um, um, interviews with parents where their kids have been bullied and assaulted here, and the school board is allowing this thing to continue to go on. What happened to you today? So we was at PE, then we, then we started getting in the, then we started playing a few games, then he kicked me. First he kicked me, then I punched him in his back, then he kicked me again, then he kicked me in my and stomach. He kicked you and your stomach made your teeth come out. So what, what did what happened when he kicked your stomach? Did you hit your mouth on something? Did you how did you hit your mouth? Then he made me hit He made you hit your mouth on the ground and then your teeth came out. And when you tried to tell the teacher what happened, what she said? She said when I said her name, she said we were talking and she your son got a concussion oh my god oh my god we got another parent pulling up right now this is we got another parent pulling up right now come in so um so the teacher told you no talking in the classroom no talking oh my god the hospital took my son out of school the hospital took my son out of school the hospital is in fear for my son life he has a major concussion that school oh, this principal did not call me back. They won't even tell the police who the children are exactly. that attack They won't even answer the phone. I went down there oh. and pressed charges. I pressed charges. And they still won't give the police the information I'm on the mom. kids that attacked my oh, son and caused him to have a major concussion. So he's got to live with for the rest of his life. And he has to go and get special assistance. And he has an IEP. And he was in the gym room with everybody else. And they don't ever have nobody in there watching the kids like they say they do. The one teacher said, what you want us to do? We're short-handed, we're short-staffed. Everybody can't watch all the children all the time. Well, and, and, and most of the time, it's first thing in the morning, they, 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 they come in here fighting. Yeah. I had to walk my daughter up here twice because of the fight. I can't deal with this anymore because I'm constantly trying to get with these other parents because this school need to be sued. They need to be shut down. They need to be shut down. Then they got COVID in there. They made all yeah. the children put their masks on because they found out they again allowed another child to come back oh knowing that the family member had COVID. They said, well, the child don't oh got God. it. You still put it there on the 14 days, not at the school. Let me ask you this because you just oh pulled God. up. You parked your car right in the middle of the school in the street. Can you sit right here for one second? What happened to your child and what day did this happen to your child on? 
my son did have an ongoing situation since the first week of school when he first got bullied. Then by the second month, he was assaulted. Then we let it go. We let it go because it was children fighting children. Next time they got together and tried to gang up on my son at the bus stop. Then when they came up to the school, I rode over there to the bus stop, picked my son up because my daughter has a phone on her now because I don't trust this school. My wow. daughter was, is, was 12 and I had to give a 12 year old a phone just to look out for her brother and make sure she don't get beat up for protecting her brother. So now your child is suffering from a concussion, concussion. that happened at this school. Did anybody inform hey, you that your no. child was injured? They didn't inform me of nothing. He was here for two hours without treatment. The nurse said, oh, I'm sorry. I just happened to come pick my son up from school because I had a doctor's appointment and I wasn't going to be home. But I picked my son up early and then they didn't realize then all of a sudden couldn't nobody find my child. Then all of a sudden, the nurse gonna come out. Come here, come here. I need to talk to you. I need to tell you something privately. Your um son got hit upside his head. We got another one right here. Girl. Come here, come here. Let us stop in right quick. Let us stop right here, right quick, guys. We got another parent pulling up right now about the bully. Sit right here, sweetheart. About they child being bullied and assaulted right here at Southside yes. STEM Academy, guys. This is more like kids being in prison. Kids are actually being assaulted. We got one right here. His teeth was kicked out of his mouth today. No medical treatment was given to him or rendered to him. We got another young lady right now running around where she was um, dragged across the field. Her skin is missing off her face, off her arm. And also she has a broken arm, a broken wrist, a fractured wrist. And it happened right here at Southside STEM Academy and no medical treatment was rendered. The principal and the school officials are not contacting the parents. Can you tell me what happened to your child? My older daughter, she's constantly being bullied and picked on. Uh, and to the point where she don't want to come to the school. Ma'am, uh -huh. we don't allow uh, filming on, on school property. Is this public property? No, ma'am. Who out there is public property out there. Oh, so I thought your shirt said school. no for public schools. It's a school property. But it said public. Yes, I understand. Right, it's a public. Okay, we're going to ask you to move out there. Please. But and this public property? And this public still, property? For the privacy of the kids? The kids, the school is closed. That's no, why we can't. Not, I, no, I, we but kids. you say it's a public Damn. property. These are the parents that want to vent to what's going on with their kids I, I in the school. It. I understand. What the kids want to talk. But we still have But ain't this private kids. property? Okay. Is this, is this private property? Is this public property? Okay, then if it's part public, it belongs to the city and we are the people of the city. But we still have kids in the school. Yeah, but we're not inside the school. The school's not closed. Oh, there's no children on camera. It, there's kids still in the building. But they're not out here. So what you say happened now? My oldest, she's constantly being bullied to her. She doesn't like to come to school at all. Yeah, and my, my, my son cried. He has nightmare every night. He done fell off the bed a couple of times. They had to uh, get him one of the beds and put him in the bed so that he would roll off. Because he, he have a nightmare. He's like, don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm sorry. I said, do you want to come back to school? He told his doctor he wanted to come back to school, but not to be bullied. Wow. Not to be bullied. Wow. He said he wished he could come back to school, but his doctor said it's, he could die if he get hit one more time to the head. Wow. One more time to the head, this my son could die. Good. Wow. Rhoda Young is on the scene. Wow. Hey, Lovely, can you tell me what happened with you, Lovely? Um, This morning, you see what happened with the kids. What did you see the little girl come to school and she was crying? And what did you say? Um, She was scared to come to school. So um, her mother said she didn't have no one to watch her because she had to work. And I said, why well, watch her? Did because you know this young lady beforehand? I never seen her before. So you walk, you're a parent, you're taking your daughter to school, and you see another young lady with her, her kids kid scared crying. to come to school crying because of facial her arms. So I took her home and kept my daughter home with her today wow. until her mother got off from work. That's when I got in touch with you because you needed to be on the scene of this. And as you can see, a whole lot of other stuff done took place this way. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, it's the same thing too. Wow. I had to take two other people's children home with me because I had to tell them. Because they was not telling them when they first came in the door, they was not telling them that they had COVID and they was making sure that every Ooh. children had masks. And then the ones that got directly exposed, they sent them to another room. And then they took everybody out of the cafeteria and made them go eat their lunch in the classroom behind them. And then I told called the young lady back and I said, baby, you just left your kids. And I said, they got a lot going on and they're being bullied. She said, yeah, I got pushed.
pushed down in the process when I was there the other day, trying to get them to stop fighting. And I was trying to get my two boys out of the situation. And she said, I got pushed down. I got a bruise on my leg. And all the security did was help me up and told me I needed to get off the property. I told her, well, I'll take your kids home with me. So that's if you so don't mind. security, like you just told yes. us. Yes, get off the property. Yes, ma'am. Instead of them coming out here and dressed in white, all these parents out here angry and bitter about what's happening to their kids, they want to worry about us getting off the school property, which their kids are part of the school system. And I'm out here reporting on what's going on with these kids here at Southside STEM Academy. Something has to be done, guys. It's, it's time out. We got multiple stories about what's really going on inside of Southside STEM Academy. Today we learned we have a concussion and we have a young man where his teeth was kicked out of his mouth. A couple of days ago, we had a young lady whose face has been straight so badly, it looked like a second degree burn. Also her wrist and plus it's fractured and she had to get a cast on Wednesday. I'm going to Young Live where I am reporting the truth here in Norfolk, Virginia, Southside STEM Academy. Someone need to contact the school board, contact the detectives and the police officers to find out what's really going on inside of Southside STEM Academy. Why do the kids feel afraid to come to school? Why do they feel bullied? Why are they being beaten? Why are they losing their teeth? What's really going on? Inside of this school right here is worse than the prison system itself. Yeah. Sending your child to this school, you don't know how you will receive your child back. It's a very scary situation, and this is not my first time reporting on Southside STEM Academy, and God knows it won't be my last. I'm Rhoda Young Live, and it's my great pleasure to let you guys know what's really going on behind the doors where it's supposed to be the safe place. But in reality, if CPS want to do a check, they need to they come need check to. out this school and find out why these kids are coming home damaged. CPS, you want to take some of the kids? Well, take these Nick kids out of this school system here or take the principal, assistant principal, out and also here. nurse out of this school building right here. I'm going to your life. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Come here. Right Ooh. here. This is what we yeah. here for. Good. So right now we got another part. We got another part right here. Just walked up. A little boy told her child that he's going to kill him. What, 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 what happened? What happened with that situation? It's still ongoing, so your child was threatened by his life. Did you did you take it serious? Yeah, yeah, I have a appointment. So you gotta wait. You can't talk to her instantly. You gotta wait. How long do it take for you to get to talk to her? I'm rolling your life. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How are you? I am great. I'm great. Yeah. How many days ago has it been since your child was threatened with his life? It's still ongoing. It was last week. Last week, and you still haven't gotten to talk with the principal yet. Okay, thank you, Intel Sweet Bye, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, we're gonna get on up out of here. Um, how you doing? No, what's oh, going on with you? Your kids still, still out of school. But why is your kids out of school? Because um got shot the door, and I don't know his mama is, his dad, or whoever else. He said that he was gonna kill my son when my son oh. get older with a gun. Yeah. Wow. And I'm a correction officer. I don't take threats, threats lightly. So, um, yeah, that's why my kids are not in school. So, is it being homeschooled? You got to homeschool? No, I'm not, they said I have to pay for it. No, they can just give me the stuff that I need. I'm not paying for it. When my son was the one getting bullied, that's not and right. And my ass got suspended. They did not help you yet since no, that day. No, they have not helped nope. me yet. Nope. Talking about a meeting. I don't have a meeting because I gotta work now. I work days, so I can't come now. And they That's demand why I was to you get to it. come on a Monday. Yeah. They demand you to come on their time. On their time. This is your child. This is my time. Not when you are available. I can't get fired when because of this. So your kids been out of school because right yeah. here. Like two months. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. yeah. Because inside of this school, your kid's life was threatened. Yes. And the young man said he gonna kill your child. He said he gonna kill my son when he get older. Wow, and your son been afraid to come back to school ever since. Well, he's not afraid to come back to school, but I'm not letting my son come back to school because it's gonna be problems. Wow, it's gonna be problems. Wow. Yes, ma'am, I'm the one. The, what man threatened you with the gun? A man threatened her, and he said he know the whole. Yeah, sheriff department, and I didn't do anything to him. I was calm and everything. I called the police on everything. This is wow. I used her phone to call the man. All behind wow. this school, because I got a phone call. Because this school? 
No, I don't even know that man. I just knew that the cost cable place. He might have been talking about this school. Cause you know everybody see you, Rhoda. Wow. I don't know who you is, but one thing I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, boy, I don't care who up here. I'm not saying prior to Prince to Prince to this school for something like that happened to my kids. It's going to be trouble. Wow. Now you heard it from Chelsea Rich. Wow, guys. This is multiple parents coming here to this school at Southside School yeah. Academy where they, huh, you got a story too? Yeah. Oh, we and got we, another, we we got another story. We oh my God, we got more stories coming up. Come on up, baby. We got another story. We got, huh, come up there. Okay. This school is dead Another parent coming, right coming and complaining about what's going on with her child at this school. Can you tell us what he's doing right here? Can, now you look fine. Come on, girlfriend. You look great. Yeah, I'm still up here, baby. I'm in Come up here. Come on, Come on, I can't Because, hey, lovely. Because um, a kid broke my son's glasses in the, in the stairwell. He tried to break his arm. My son had to physically defend himself. This is a school. I don't feel like that's fair to him. He got two younger brothers that go here. Why do he got to feel scared to come to school? Because I'm not somebody's child. When I sit over there and pick my kids up after school every day at 3 o'clock, they beat this little boy up every single day. At that church across the street, he a little pretty little boy. Brown skin, got locked. They had little girls over there slamming him on his head. The life bar I had to stop what she was doing was supposed to be directing traffic. It's beautiful. She had to stop what she was doing was supposed to be directing traffic because security refused to come across that street to help them kids. Wow. I don't see Mr. Tooley that way. Like he's a good tough person. He look out for my kids. He has to walk kids across the street to their neighborhood so they don't get bullied, so they don't get banged. What is the school doing? Wow. You said that. Um, you got you just snatch one of your kids out of this. I snatch all of my kids out of this. I got a kindergartner that's in whoever that lady class is right there. I got a third grader that I had to pull out of school in Miss Miss Mingo class. And my oldest child, he's twelve and he's in seventh grade. Let me ask you this: So, what school is your kids going to since you're this next? I'm my own kids. I'm not paying nobody to educate them because they're supposed to be able to come in the building and get educated. They should have had all of this figured out before they start out of school. Then it's always every week my son. Is getting sick in any grade every day. They get sick home with a cold cake. But what are they doing about that? Wow. It's always something going on here. Wow, wow. What would you like to say to the principal that's actually in, or in charge of this school? Or what is that you would like to say to the um school board about the how they're not protecting our kids in this school? Um, I actually talked to the principal here numerous times. I told her it's always something going on in this school. The only thing she can tell me is to get in touch with the guidance counselor. I call him, email him, text him, he doesn't respond back. So for my kids' safety, they just will not be coming back here until they can resolve this problem. Wow. Wow. Guys, you have to see this for yourself. Thank you. And thank you, guys. You have to be out here to see it for yourself. How many parents are pulling up and coming to speak out that, hey, me too. This is not an isolated incident. My child has been attacked, abused, teeth has been knocked out their mouth. Um, they have been um dragged across the playground. Skin has been removed. Now, check this out. Let me slow it down. The young man got his teeth uh, kicked out of his mouth. No one rendered him medical attention. When he tried to tell the teacher that his teeth was kicked out of his mouth, they told him no talking in the hallway. He was sent home, guys, with no medical attention, and the parent was not informed. They called one young lady and told her her daughter had fell and had some straights on her face, and it wasn't that bad when the mother came instantly up to the school. She kind of found out all the skin on her daughter's face was peeled off her face, looking as if she had a second or third degree burn. And also she noticed that her wrist skin was going there too. Then she looked at her daughter's wrist and found out it was raised up and that her daughter's wrist, when she took her immediately to the hospital, she had a fractured wrist. No medical attention was rendered. No one has called the... Uh, no one called the ambulance or anything to check out this child um that was swollen they just put a bandage on it come on parents let's tell them what we want from the school and what we expect from our the, um, school board system here i sent my, my my child's medical records and field to be paid because his going to be ongoing situation for the rest of his life and i don't feel it's fair that the principal is not speaking to nobody I don't feel it's fair that we got to come up here three, four people at a time and she's hiding out in the office and being in that building the whole time. 
I don't think it's fair that when you go down to the school board and they don't address you and they're back there hiding out too and telling you leave paperwork on the desk and they'll address you later. My child shouldn't be addressed later. My child should be addressed when the incident occurred and not later on. One of my son, both my son's teachers, she was out here when all that was going on in front when the fight broke out and everything with the poor boy trying to jump my son. Wow. It, it's ridiculous. And, and, and I feel that all of us should rightfully have some kind of paperwork coming from this school for apologizing for number one, you didn't contact us, you didn't notify us, you decided to take actions upon yourself like they were your children without notifying the parents of their condition. My son could have laid there, went to sleep, and never woke up. Wow. His, I was lucky that I came up here to pick my child up. Wow. Wow. And lucky. I'm lucky to have been out because of surgery. I don't even know what have been happening to my kids. These little kids bringing guns, knives, and everything in their yeah. book bag. Yeah. And what if he would have did that to my son? So all I was just asking for is them to be in virtual learning so I can keep them home, so that I can be able to protect my sons or out of district or something, so that they can get their proper learning. And now because they're I, not in school at all. And they're not in school at all because I can't do everything because I work for the state. So that's why I was trying to get this resolved before I started back to work November the 1st. And ain't nobody caring. They pushed it off to the side. Wow. I was doing everything I could, Rhoda, before I started work November the 1st. Right. To get them with just virtual learning. They could have yeah. let them allow them to use their tablet so, or their computer yeah. at home. And instead, they kept them out of school. They still is. And won't give them a transfer. No. So now these kids don't have no education. So they're going to be a year behind school because of them being bullied and assaulted here at Southside STEM Academy. Well, I hope they won't be no year behind because but, there's nothing that they did wrong. Yeah, but they will be a year behind because they're not in, in enrolled school. in no school. So yeah. therefore they're gonna graduate a year later. And not only that, they're also waiting for the fact that they know after 30 days, if you don't put in paperwork with the school board or the city, they can rule against you and they can never be charged. I learned that the first time. I'm not going to do it again. I went down that first charges. I want action taken. I want action taken. I want I want the school the school to pay for my son's problems. I want the I want the parents responsible for their children's actions. I want justice for my son who's never going to be able to play football or do anything else or any kind of sports because of his hand injury again. Wow. And mother, what would you like with all these injuries your daughter sustained here at well, South? Somebody, Sa pay me. somebody getting sued. Somebody getting sued. Ain't no, I'm not letting this slide. So somebody you got the paperwork sued. right here in your hand. Right here. What happened to your daughter? Can you tell us real quick and briefly, sweetheart, what happened to you? And how did the teacher them handle your situation? What what happened? Right. All she knows so they said they said they put that fear in him. Yeah. Did and anybody did anybody um give you like anybody help you once you fell or was you down there for a long time? Did you call for your teacher to help you when you was everybody felt on top of you? Did yeah. She, did she did she help you? No, you know she didn't. Did she help you? So what happened? Can you tell us what happened? We can't, her, voice, her voice is so tiny and low, we can't hear her. Can you tell us what happened on that day real quick? We was playing tug of war in the field. And it was, first it was whoever wanted to be on each team. The boys picked the girls team and some of the girls picked the boys team. And then next, next round the, it was boys versus girls and then the boys was on that side the girls was on the other side that's when i started feeling me that's when i felt well calm down take your time baby take your time you got it you're okay take your time i fell down i felt all the other girls fall on me and that's when my face hit the ground and then my arm was bent, bent on the ground, and the boys kept on dragging me. 
and that's when this started happening. So after you failed, the boys kept dragging you, and all the girls had felt on top of you, and um, and and the boys kept dragging you. What was you doing while the boys kept dragging you? What were you doing? Well, I was screaming for Miss Chambonet, and she didn't come until 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 somebody that was out. Some until somebody kid was out. So she didn't tap. come until somebody went and tapped her, so she wasn't paying any attention while you was being hurt. You went to the nurse's office. What did they do? They just put a bandaid on it and gave me ice for my head. They just put a bandage on and gave you ice for your head. When your mommy came to school, what was your mommy's first reaction when she saw you hurt? She talked to me. Yeah, I went to the mercy room. And the doctor said your arm broke. You got to fracture your arm. I'm also in there about being bullied at this school. They say you've been bullied at this school a lot. Can you tell us about being bullied here? It's not good. It's not good. What do you mean by they bully you? What do they do when they bully you? They call me all type of curse words, curse words, and call me call me a skinny stick. Can I ask you, um, what did you tell the doctors? Your mother said you told the doctors that you didn't want to live and stuff like that when you went to the hospital. What did you tell the doctors? About coming back to school. You didn't want to go back to school? Did you tell mommy that you might hurt yourself because they bully you so bad? I don't never want you to hurt yourself because you've been bullied inside the school. You hear me? Bullies are really cowards. They make they try to make you feel bad because they see some goodness in you that they don't see in themselves. So what they'll do is target you. So do you never, ever, ever hurt yourself because you've been bullied at the school? You hear me? You got a whole life ahead of you. And we want to see you to be great. So don't you ever even think about hurting yourself because of the way people are treating you. You're a we beautiful make sure young lady. You are a beautiful young lady. And they know that and that's why they pick with you, okay? Auntie Rhoda love you and that's why we out here standing here. We're standing here and we're going to be your voice when your voice ain't loud enough to be here. I'm Rhoda, your life. And you don't have to worry about it about too much longer, okay? I promise you that. Aunt Rhoda love you. You don't get a case. Come here, baby. You want to tell me what happened to you? We got another little child that's been, here you go, he's so sweet, that's been bullied at this school. You been bullied at this school as well? Can you tell us what be happening when they bully you? I hurt myself. What do you mean you hurt yourself? I hurt myself every time here. People be bullying me. You hurt yourself every time here? People be bullying you? Do the school help you when they bully you? Do you tell the teachers that you've been bullied? You don't want to be a snitch. What is a snitch? A, a, a tattleteller. No, it's not. A snitch is not a tattleteller. You want to protect yourself. You, if someone is doing something to you, you want to make sure you tell the grown-ups so they can make them stop. Your job is to make sure you protect yourself by informing an adult at this school that someone is hurting you, picking on you, or threatening you, okay? That's not being a snitch. That's called protecting myself. Don't you ever use that word snitch again. Yeah. Only reason they teach you about the word snitch is because they don't want you to tell on them, but they won't get in trouble. Exactly. I want you to tell on them each and every last time. And when you tell on them, you go home and tell your mother exactly who you told when you told on them. So when she contact this school, she can address them directly. Mm -hmm. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that whatever's going on behind these walls at Southside STEM Academy, that you don't ever have to be afraid to come to school. I'm Rhoda Young Life. I'm your auntie. And if you need me, I'm right here for you. I stand. I'm the voice for you when you can't speak. I love you. Give her a hug. These babies, thank you. Thank you. These babies, God. These babies are so afraid. This is so sad. These babies are afraid to come to Southside STEM Academy. These babies are afraid to come to school. This is sad. This is sad. I have never seen it at all the days of my life.
and, they, and now they're going to counseling that they, they shouldn't even have to go to counsel for because they threatened to kill themselves. And, and all the doctors are looking at is that the fact that you're saying, oh, my child saying they're going to kill themselves. So what, what this about, man? What, what this about is what's going on behind the school door. But then the school is denying it and saying nothing happened or nothing was said and there was no incident report. So they can't verify that anything really happened. Wow. That's bad. And then wow. now my child got a record, you know. I, I'm gonna kill myself. Like she's saying here, I'm gonna kill myself. Wow. All these kids are now Bye, gonna have a public rapper. Thank you. Thank you They're so gonna much. have a public rapper for killing yeah. themselves at a young age because of the yeah. fact now they gotta go get counseling for what's been going on behind these walls. And these teachers and principals are denying what's going on and don't want to face the front street about the situation and calling these children to have records. Now my son gonna have a record of being suspended for something that he didn't start, the something that he didn't cause. The the uh, one of the officers threw my son off top of the boy who attacked my son and caused was one of the reasons that caused the concussion. My son was hit and pushed and knocked off to the side that caused that concussion to reoccur again to my son. They don't realize the severity of it. Once stuff is entered on a child's medical record, it's up there for the rest of their life. If they say they're going to hurt themselves, they send you over there to get counseling. And they make it seem like your child is the one at fault or going crazy. These kids are not going crazy. These kids are being mistreated. They're told not to tell. They're told that it's not that serious. And they're sitting there believing you because, one, you're an adult of an authority figure. And they're trusting you to be telling the truth about their situation. They don't realize how bad they are. And thank you for that. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for tuning yes. in. Once again, guys, this is um, Southside STEM Academy here um, in Norfolk, Virginia, guys. We need to reach out to Norfolk School Board and find out what's really going on behind the walls of this school. We came here for one story. We, we came here for one story, and we waited until after school hours to come out here and address the issues. As I was standing out here, other parents start coming in and say, hey, hold up, me too. My child has been removed from the school because my child has been bullied and he's all beaten and the school has failed to um, protect the kids. We have several mothers that kids right now are not getting education. The question is why the school system is not recognizing that we have multiple kids that's not been educated. Who is checking the attendance list? Where are these kids school workers at? Why the school board is not doing their job? Why you don't know that you have over 10 kids that's at home, that's not been homeschooled, that's not been um, virtual learning, that's not attending school? Why y'all not doing your, your jobs? Why are these parents that have taken their kids out of school due to the um, abuse that's going on inside the Southside STEM Academy are not allowed to do virtual learning? until you guys can get this stuff together. Why are y'all hindering the education of these elementary school students, which gonna make them a year behind in school because they're afraid to come get educated here at Southside STEM Academy. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live. If you want your child beaten, please send them to Southside uh, STEM Academy, allegedly. If you would like for your child to lose a team, please send them to Southside STEM Academy, allegedly. If you want your child beat up every day, at the school while they walk home, please send them to Southside STEM Academy, allegedly. If you would like your daughter face, skin, peel all the way off so that it looked like a third degree burn, please send them to Southside STEM Academy, allegedly. If you want your child with a broken wrist, please send them to Southside STEM Academy, allegedly. If you want to speak to the uh, principal, please take the number and step in line. I looked at my wrist, she don't have time today to speak to the parents about what's really going on inside of her school. Why so many kids been harmed, been damaged, dropping out of school in ele elementary. That's the biggest thing. Kids are dropping out of school in elementary, not even making it to middle school because the behavior of Southside STEM Academy, this needs to be addressed and addressed immediately. Right now, guys, we are warning our youth lies by allowing whatever's going on behind the doors of Southside STEM Academy to continue to go on. I'm Rhoda Young Live, where I hope this story falls into the right hands and the right media so that we can get some type of some type of diversity of what's going on inside of here, guys. Don't forget, I just told you the other day, Norfolk, Virginia don't want you guys to know they are a losing, they are losing principles at alarming rates, okay? Principals are quitting. 
what's really going on with the school board system where the kids are feeling unsafe and the principals are quitting their job. It need to be an internal investigation with Norfolk School Board system. I'm so blessed that my kids no longer go there. I got grandkids coming through though. So y'all need to get it together before we force you guys to get it together and a lot of court paperwork be slung around the city of Norfolk. I'm rolling your life until we meet again. Thank you, lovely. Love you yeah. did that. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We did that. We, did that. we, we stopped that. We did that, lovely. We did it. Now tell him 